click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the classification of polymers based on the polymerization process and now in this topic we are going to talk about the classification of polymers based on the growth polymerization. So what is this classification? Let me talk about that in this topic. So friends, as we have discussed earlier, that is in the previous lecture, that is the classification of polymers based on the polymerization process. In that, we have got to know that is addition polymers as well as condensation polymers. So based on that only, I am going to talk about in this topic also. That is, now we are going to talk about classification of polymer based on growth polymerization process. So therefore, there are basically two steps or there are basically two kind of growth polymerization process. The first is chain growth polymerization process. And the next is step growth polymerization process. So what is the difference between these two and what does chain growth polymerization means? So it is very much similar to that of the addition that is polymers that is what we have discussed in our previous lecture. That is in this chain growth polymerization basically the monomers are nothing but they are alkenes or the derivatives of alkene and whenever these two monomers they combine with each other obviously they will form an addition reaction due to addition reaction obviously they will form a product. And now this product suppose if n number of monomers if we have considered and the polymerization process will take place in such a manner that is we could get a polymer that is known as addition polymer and this kind of growth of the polymers are basically known as chain growth polymerization and this is what I want to talk about and now let me discuss about the next one that is step growth polymerization. So this is very much similar to that of that is condensation polymers. So the monomers that we consider in that is condensation polymers to form a condensation polymers they are basically they have bifunctionality and that's the reason that whenever the two monomers they will combine with each other due to condensation process obviously they will eliminate smaller molecules like water as well as methanol so they will form a product but now this product that has been formed even this product has a bifunctionality and that's the reason that this kind of condensation process will go on and that's the reason that it will go on continuous and that's the reason the name of the is step growth polymerization so the example that i have discussed earlier only that is for an example of a chain growth polymerization it is that is you could call it as teflon you could call that is polythene and suppose if we talk about step growth polymerization that it could be nylon 6 series it could be polyester so this is an example of that is step growth polymerization and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much